All right, Vancouver's up to nothing. What can they do here? Dry Saddle has the puck. Wait, what? The Esso ad has consumed Dry Saddle. Dry Saddle is no more. No, not Pedersen. And, and the ref too? Oh my God, they are missing their torsos. Rogers, what have you done? And they're back. Nice. New bro Bible article. This is the key for Canadians in Calgary. That's me, GoDaddy. Remember when they made commercials that looked like they were an adult website with that girl who drives race cars? Okay, focus, Rob. Focus. Okay, what's what's this? Batman says that digital dashboard ad backlash is a non-issue because their polling indicates that fans find games more watchable with those digital ads replacing the physical ones. What? What? Excuse me? Kevin Fiala literally transported to the back rooms. This is a non-issue? This NHL season, the league would decide to roll out several new marketing campaigns. And I don't blame them. After several years of dealing with pandemic complications, the NHL has lost what I can only assume hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue. And this takes a toll on the league as a whole because at the end of the day, they are a business. And so what do you know? They would introduce digital billboards, which frankly, to be frank, has been a disaster at times. As there's been instances where players literally disappear from the ice. Pucks disappear around the boards. Vehicles drive while the game is on. All right, so at this point of the video, I just referenced how I swear I've watched games where I've witnessed, you know, a car on the animated digital billboards driving across during the play. And I don't know if I just awoke some type of conspiracy theory. You know, maybe I'm going crazy, but I've gone back and, oh, sh uh, don't mind that, don't mind that. I've gone back and looked through hundreds of, I spent like 20 minutes looking for this part, looking for a five second clip of what I'm talking about. I can't find it. So if anyone knows what I'm talking about and it also witnessed a car driving, you know, on the boards, let me know. But to be honest, I don't hate them. In fact, I think it's hilariously entertaining. Now, does this mess up viewer experiences at times? Absolutely. But keep in mind, this is new technology and it will get better. But with that being said, Batman saying that fans prefer this over the past static ads? That's a load of bullshit. Don't gaslight us, Gary. Now I will say, I also don't mind ads on jerseys. Probably gonna get a lot of hate for this take. I don't mind it. With the context of what they are trying to do, grow the league, as other professional leagues around the world have implemented the same techniques. But come on, us NHL fans are complaining. Look what they're doing in Europe. And what the NHL is doing this season doesn't even compare, doesn't even sniff. The biggest experiment failures throughout NHL history. Because on this topic, I went back, you know, did my research, dug up some of the most hilariously absurd experiments the game has ever seen. So sit back, grab your soda pop, grab your popcorn. This video is gonna be a wild one. And on a side note, you know this guy, Wayno, Wayne Glensky? Back in 2019, Wayne Gretzky became the official ambassador of World Hockey Manager. And what is World Hockey Manager, you ask? Well, they're the sponsor of today's video. Free to download on iOS and Android. World Hockey Manager puts you in charge of your own team. As you can scout, discover new players, create your own roster with the goal of becoming the best team in hockey. Finally, an app where you can test your general manager skills. I've always had a love for team manager simulation games. This is hands down the easiest to use. Most effective user interface I've ever seen in a game like this. It's only pretty, but it contains awesome detail. Like being able to set your own defensive strategies. Your third line isn't producing, well, you can set their priority to being a defensive shutdown line. You can also upgrade and have control over your own arena. As World Hockey Manager allows you to live out your dreams of being a better general manager than Sir Peter Chiarelli. World Hockey Manager was also so nice to include a limited time promo code available until January 15th. So you can use code 56HH3M100 to receive 100 in-game coins, which has a value 
of $7.99. To redeem the sucker, all you have to do is click on the top left, go to redeem voucher, and plug that baby in. So, check out the link below, have some fun, and create the team of your dreams. Welcome back to the United Center, where the Hawks are going to be spending a lot of the time down those trenches we mentioned a moment ago. Back in 2009, we would see what is easily the most horrendous case of a failed marketing ploy. Because heading into a February game, the Blackhawks decided to launch an in-game promotion. Usually it's a bobblehead or perhaps a t-shirt, but this game, well, they decided to do something different as they would give the first 10,000 fans in attendance a red construction hard hat with a Blackhawks logo. And you might be thinking, what could go wrong? Well, as the second period was coming to a close, Jonathan Taves would score a hat trick. Keep by Barker, a long shot. He Which would cause a tsunami of hard hats being thrown on the ice. They think it's Taves, and here come the helmets. Better be careful. Yeah. You want to be sitting in the yeah. first ten rows. You gotta be careful. And keep in mind, some of the fans in attendance were chucking their hard hats from hundreds of feet above the ice in the upper bowls. And as a result, not only was this a safety hazard to the players and fans in the lower bowls, which thinking about it now is probably one of the most ironic things I've ever heard of, as the Blackhawks gave out safety hard hats, which would cause one of the most hazardous events in NHL history, ladies and gentlemen. But just wait, it gets better much much better because during the massive cleanup which would cause a delay officials would review Taves' hat trick goal and his goal would be waved off it looked like it was awfully high it has to be below the crossbar the review by video puck was touched by a high stick yep above the crossbar no goal meaning one of the biggest failed experiments in the game's history was for no reason. However, the story doesn't end here. Pittsburgh would score making the game 4-2 and shortly into the third. Jonathan Taves would score another goal. Barker, centered one, a shot, they score, and a pass by Barker, and that is the hat trick for Jonathan Taves. Completing his hat trick, but for real this time, which would cause another tsunami of hard hats being thrown on the ice. And of course, another delay. If you thought throwing plastic rats in Florida was bad, the Blackhawks literally gave out 10,000 fans free hat trick ammunition in the form of 10,000 hard hats. And all of this drama, excitement, would be for no reason as Pittsburgh would end up defeating the Blackhawks in OT. And as you can probably imagine, there has never been another hard hat door prize since this epic marketing failure. However, this experiment is not nearly as bad as what the 2012 Bakersfield Condors would pull in 2012. Because during a matchup against their state rival in the Stockton Thunder, the Condors would decide to throw a promotion night. Except their promotion, and I kid you not, was to give fake million dollar bills to everyone in attendance. Okay, doesn't sound too bad, right? Well, this night occurred shortly after the city of Stockton filed for bankruptcy. Bakersfield of the AHL threw a promotional night making fun of another team's city for being in a financial crisis. And keep in mind, the entire world at this point was trying to recover from one of the biggest financial crises in history. Crises? Crises? Which was the 2008 market crash, which resulted in the other team's management being furious. So much so that Bakersfield would have to apologize and change the promotional night to Boomtown Bakersfield. I'm gonna guess the owners between these teams had a serious disgust for each other. Also on a side note, remember when the New York Islanders put a literal car in the lower bowl? Like, is that not worse than digital ads or a Jersey ad? Like what? And again, big shout out to World Hockey Manager. Link is down below. Thank you to everyone for the recent feedback on the new editing style. Got a big green screen now. Trying to amp up the content. We are also on the road to 100K, so if you can, press subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.